Uh, well, this is the Scammer 300. Uh, we've got a diesel generator, alternator, some power supplies and batteries in order to provide 300 amps and 1400 amps for a starting. Uh, this is a DC unit for 28 volts systems. Mm, essentially, well, we try to achieve a very simple and very compact unit. The chassis is being galvanized, so it won't be affected for corrosion, it won't rust. All the panels are made from 1.5 mil aluminium. Uh, panels are very easy to remove just with a very simple key. Um, the lid, we can take the lid out in just 5-10 seconds in order to do any maintenance. Well, here inside, the unit is very simple. We've got this engine here, small AC alternator in order to provide 10 kVAs to the power supplies, which are sitting at the back. I can show you where the power supplies are. All the panels are that easy to remove, just with a simple key. If you have to do any maintenance, any repair in the unit, that's very easy. Uh, as well, we've got a 33 liters fuel tank, which will have enough capacity to run the engine for around 10, 12 hours. Fuel tank it's been fitted with quick fittings, so in order to replace the fuel tank, if you need to take it out, drain it to do any air transport, you just take those connectors out. You won't expel any diesel, they are very easy to remove. You put it back again, just press it. Uh, the fuel level gauge as well is fitted with quick connectors. Well, I'm going to explain quickly how the unit works and how easy it is to operate. Uh, well, the unit can be used both inside the hangar or outside. In order to use it outside, we'll just run the engine. If we want to use it inside, we've got a three-phase a three AC input plug here. So we plug in a three-phase mains input and we can use the unit as well inside or outside. Uh, in order to use the unit, we just press the yellow button to wake up the unit. The unit has some LEDs here on top in order to illuminate the control panel for night operation. Uh, we've got the engine control module, which is a very simple and reliable engine control module, which will show all the key features like RPM from the engine, uh, apart from engine speed, frequency, voltage, a voltage in the engine battery, as well we've got a fuel level gauge here. This voltmeter and ammeter will show us every time what volts and amps we've got in the output connector. A three LEDs will indicate whether the power supplies are working correctly or not. We've got on and off button, these two green and red buttons will open or close the output contactor. Green LED and red LED. Green LED for normal operation and red LED for in case there is a fault like reverse current, reverse polarity, over voltage. With this switch here, we'll either switch to position 1, which is normal operation running from the engine, or to position 2 which is in case we've got a main input coming in and we want to use the unit inside. Emergency stop, a stop button in order to stop the engine and the power supplies every time we want. And as well, we've got, always we have the engine running, we will have 230 volts here in this output socket. 
as well, there is another feature which is very interesting. In case the red, red LED goes on, if we quickly open the lid, we have here an internal display which will show us what the fault is. At the moment we are showing low frequency and under voltage. The unit is completely modular and as well for all the brains of the unit are in this small PCB here. So this PCB controls engine, alternator, power supplies, output power. So in this PCB we are monitoring everything. In case we've got a fault, it's very easy to find. In case the PCB is faulty, you just remove the plugs, all the cables, take the PCB out and put a new one in. It is very easy to control. The unit is fitted with an automatic braking system. So now the unit is with the brake on, so you won't be able to move the unit at all. If you want to tow or pull the unit by hand, you just press here, you release the brake and pull the unit. It is very easy to pull. Either pull the unit by hand or you can always tow the unit with an external vehicle. The tow bar won't drop to the floor, so it has a, an end stop here, so the tow bar will never touch the floor. In order to put this braking system back, you just push and automatically the unit is not brake. It has a rear bar here, which will press the wheels from the back and it won't be able to move the unit at all.